Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports and Soldier. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the video. Crazy NCAA Tournament Games 1990, the LMU Lions versus the Michigan Wolverines. Real quick, I'd like to set up this game for you. First for the Wolverines, they were the defending champs. They lost Glenn Rice who went on to the NBA, who would be returning basically everyone for the 1989-1990 season as this squad had six future NBA players. As for the Lions of LMU, they ran what was called the system, in which I don't want to go through the X's and O's about, but from watching these highlights, I think you understand this was the fastest style of basketball you could imagine. I would like to call this organized insanity. For the 1989-1990 season, the Lions scored a record 122.4 points per game at a time where there was a 45 second shot clock. But what must be mentioned is that the Lions suffered through a major tragedy when Hank Gathers, who was a projected first round pick, collapsed and died during a West Coast Conference Tournament game. LMU would dedicate the rest of their season to Gathers. For the second round matchup, Michigan was a big school, the defending champs, the three seed, going up against a small Catholic California school in Loyola Marymount, the 11th seed, but that didn't matter. Michigan had a tremendous advantage down low against the smaller and skinnier Lions, but that didn't matter. Michigan had more overall talent, but that didn't matter as this was going to be LMU's day. So what happened? LMU's 149 is a record for most points scored for a team in an NCAA tournament game and the combined 264 points is also an NCAA tournament record. For Loyal Marymount's Sweet 16 matchup, Alabama would not get trapped into playing LMU style as they would pull the ball back and milk the clock every possession. LMU won 62-60 as interestingly, Robert Ory, aka Big Shot Rob, missed a game tying shot at the buzzer. For the West Regional Final, it'd be LMU and UNLV, who had their own run and gun style. Prior to the game, Rebels coach Jerry Tarkanian was asked how he would play against the Lions and without any hesitation he said he was going to run. During the season the Rebels had played and defeated LMU and played and defeated other opponents with up-tempo styles like Oklahoma and Arkansas. But sadly and once again UNLV was too much for LMU as the Rebels won 131-101. to In short, all I can say is that there will never be another team like the 1989-1990 Loyola Marymount Lions, and there will never be another NCAA tournament game like their second round matchup against the Michigan Wolverines. But thankfully, I'm able to watch some classic LMU games and highlights digitally and zone out and have a beer. Thank you so much for watching this 90 sports video. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, check out the links below like Patreon. Thank you so much.